Hey everybody, Talara here, and welcome back to Chain Echoes. Our group is still here in the magical school of Nisa, the once magical school of Nisa, continuing to make our th way through this ruined town that has very sketchy looking <laughs> claw marks, and uh, we're still looking for Gwen. First we got this ghost who looks to have consumed a lot of alcohol. Oh, guests, look out for it. We created it, yet we forgot what it looks like and what it was capable of. If we could just remember. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, so are you saying that the residents of Nisa created whatever created these claw marks and ultimately destroyed the city? Oh, I wish I could remember what color it had. Do you remember? I have no idea. Blue is water? Yes, that's it, that's it! Not sure if that's actually it. That was a complete guess. Looks like we've made it into, like, the school proper. Most of our journey so far has just been in the town outside of Nisa. Well, I suppose the town is Nisa. Outside of the academy, I should say. It looks like now we are in the castle proper. I presume this is where Gwen is? I feel like he's probably holed up in the headmaster's office. <laughs> If I had to take a guess about Gwen, from what little knowledge I have of him, that seems like something he would do. So first we gotta get through these piggies, and then I guess we'll make our way up. God, my squad is so good right now. I'm so pleased with the Sienna, Micah, Victor, Glenn setup that I've got going here. I just feel like it's super effective. I do so much damage. I really like it. I mean, I might be singing a different tune at our next boss fight, <laughs> but for right now, I'm, I'm very pleased. All right, just like the town, looks like the, the castle itself is... Quite a maze. Look at those mice just having a having a munch on the leftover food and drinks. The mice are thriving here in Nisa. What was my first impression of it? If only I could remember. You were impressed by its magical aura? Yes, that's it, that's it. Like how we're just guessing all of these people's thoughts. Okay, nothing else in here. Can we get upstairs? Yeah, here we go. Alright. Continuing our way through. Lots of loot. Diamond armor. Nice. Is that a good upgrade? It is, again, like everything I've been getting at this point, it is a good upgrade if I upgrade it first. Because we have the tier down. However, that tier is fully upgraded, which actually makes it better than the base tier of the next, uh, the next level. So... If we come across a anvil, that will do it. Up here into the castle proper, you can see how this was originally a school made for rich kids, because look at these fancy bedrooms. I can see him in my mind, but I don't remember. What was his specialty? Uh... I don't know. He was able to cast magic all over the place? Yes, yes, that's what it was capable of. I'm just thinking, you don't think my answers are gonna have bearing on what monster we fight? I wonder, have I read about this creature called the Phoenix before creating it? You know, the creature that can resurrect itself? Or was it after? Definitely much later. <laughs> now, now I'm feeling paranoid. I'm gonna say later. Uh oh. Did you hear that? Sounded like someone moved some furniture on the second floor. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I've got this weird feeling that perhaps my responses were giving it its typing and move set. Huh. Let's see what moved down here for us to investigate. Do, do, do. What is different? Okay. 
don't see anything different. Um, <laughs> are you sure some furniture moved on the, on the second floor? Or wait, maybe this is the first floor. Duh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Aha. Oh, what is this? It's a memory. Oh my god, is it gonna have all the status attributes? That I gave it through my questions with the ghosts? The enemy adapts to the memories around it. It turned into water! Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Like I said, I just had a gut feeling about this, and apparently, uh, apparently I was right. It's weak to fire. So that's good. Glenn can use fire strike. Well, first we'll apply oil. Luckily, we said that uh, he, it does not know resurrection. That was a sick move by Micah. She got a crit and inflicted toxic. Alright, fire strike from Glenn. Nice! 1600 damage! That's incredible. Alright, let's do Ultra Move. Sienna Ultra Move. 2100 damage plus some buffs for Miss Sienna. Holy crap. Okay, this is off to a good start if I do see so myself. The only issue is the blob really likes to attack Micah. So let's get Sienna to give her a meal. Fire strike from Glenn. Hiya! Oh yeah, we're doing good damage here. It is creeping up rather dangerously. Is the memory down? Okay. That wasn't as bad as I feared. <laughs> that was honestly, as far as things go, was pretty easy. So perhaps I made the right selections subconsciously when I was collecting its memories. Hey, we'll take it. And what was he guarding? The gold key. Aha. That is what we need to progress further back in the city proper. So the real question is, can we just teleport out of here to... Uh, Make things a little faster. Because I think if I teleport back to the entrance and then I just walk straight north, we'll be at the gate. Oh, and while we're here, there's an anvil. Let's see if we can upgrade any of this stuff. So we got a new sword for Glenn, the knightly sword, which we can fully upgrade. Beautiful. We got an upgrade for Rob, his bow. Everybody's got to upgrade, pretty much. Although I'm out of materials now, so we got two upgrades. What about armor? Yeah, we can upgrade that diamond armor. Just one. Okay, so we've got some upgrades in. Let's equip those. Knightly sword. And you can have the diamond armor as well. And then it was the rainbow for Rob. The rainbow! Ah! I only just got the pun! 
Alright, so up here at the far north of the city, this is where we needed the golden key. Aha! Here we go. This should lead us to where we need to go. Crossing a very long bridge with lots of statues. You attacked the church! You've killed the Pope! I bear nothing for you but hatred! Oh wow, it's Wyatt from the church! I gotta be honest, I completely forgot about this guy. Seems he's still holding a grudge and thinks we killed the Pope. Wyatt! I demand vengeance, godless woman! You cannot hope to defeat us in sky armors. Pah, only the devil is without hope. I cannot rest as long as your blood still runs warm, so die! Okay. Four of us in Sky Armors versus Wyatt just in regular armor. To be fair, though, the size of his sword kind of <laughs> kind of compensates him for his overall size, but we'll, we'll see how it goes here. What is he weak to? Wind. give it to Wyatt. It does take some courage to just attack four people in giant Gundam-esque suits. <laughs> okay. He's got a counter stance up now. So if that's the case, we shouldn't attack him at all. Let's just defend. Defend and buff. Counter stance is gone. Back to the action. This guy has a lot of HP. Holy crap. Summoning support orb. Okay. He's got a friend now. This orb provides Wyatt with a different set of abilities. We need to destroy it. Got it. Focus on the orb. Ah yes, he has this new ability now, Cross, which is able to hit all of us at once. He says, you took everything away from me. You still have that one god you're so fond of. You know nothing of me. Once I was a sinner, which is why God has never spoken to me directly. Only through his holiness I was able to receive his word. I acted as God commanded me through his holiness, hoping that one day he would recognize me and forgive me for my sins. You're a delusional fanatic, Wyatt. Silence! You destroyed the one channel I had to speak to God. How am I supposed to make him recognize me now if I don't know what he desires? But I do know one thing that he would definitely wish for. Your death! Who wouldn't ask for the death of the person that cut away one's tongue? Okay. TLDR, Wyatt is very mad at us. <laughs> Poor guy. He was clearly, uh very, very much influenced by the church and their doctrines, for better or for worse. I actually kind of feel bad for him, to be honest, with what he's saying there. Oh, act thrice! I think that's the first time we've ever seen that on a boss. Their ability to act three times. That's... That's definitely new. Okay. Three attacks... per round for Sir Wyatt. He now has counter, which will give us the opportunity to uh, just heal up a little bit. We can res Glenn.
Feels like he almost got an agility buff as well, because he seems to be attacking us a lot more often. I need to finish this. Now, what is he wind? Week two? Is it wind? Yeah, it's wind. Man, why it is not going down without a fight? I, I literally just have to give credit where credit is due. This dude is giving everything that he has right now. Faced against three, four giant mechs, he's still not backing down. So I can only applaud him, really. His story seems sad, as I said before. Oh, he knows heal now. Okay, well, yeah, we need to get rid of that orb. <laughs> The port orb has got to go. There we go. Back in this counter stance, which will give everybody time to just gear down and defend. Finish him off. Man, he really hates Glenn. <laughs> Glenn draws so much aggro, which I mean, I guess is good for the rest of us. Poor Glenn is constantly getting pummeled. We're flirting with overheat now as well, which I don't love. We gotta get that bar down. It's hard when he has three moves in a row to, to deal with the overheat. Let's take this time for everybody to defend. Yes, we're gonna be in overheat. Oh my god. Leave Victor alone! Okay, we need to finish this, like, literally right now. How much more HP can he possibly have? Oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go, it's done. Just as I asked that question, he did not have any more HP. <laughs> it's over, Wyatt. Silence. What are you doing? He's taking Numa, a drug that increases physical and magical capacities. You've got to be kidding me. The Inquisition has passed judgment. Feel the vengeance of God, you heretics. Whoa! Look who it is! What? Eva? Uh, I couldn't listen to this any longer. Traitor! Eva! Uh, is this it? Is this the destiny that God has chosen for me? Let me take a look. Just a few broken bones. What are you doing here? We followed your life anchor, but I did not come for the same reason as him. I wanted to apologize. I realized that what I said was wrong. I blamed you for the fact that you should have stayed back then. That you should have changed the church from the inside with us. I know, but I was a coward and fled. No, I can't blame you for that. When you exposed the problems against the church, we all took a defensive attitude. We didn't want to admit it. How could I expect you to stay when I was pushing you away from me? We didn't give you a chance. Eva. Time is running out. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but go ahead. My body hurts, but I will survive. I feel the worst wounds. She should be fine for the time being. We'll... We'll pick you up on the way back. Promise. I know, Sienna. But now, go! 
Holy crap, this is just getting more and more intense. In the end, Eva came back to Sienna, which makes my heart very warm. Wyatt is, I presume, gone. And I also presume that Gwen has to be very close by. I'm gonna leave it here before we ultimately get into more fights and more big emotional reveals. We creep ever closer to the grand finale and things are only ramping up. So I want to thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys back here again real soon for another episode of Chained Echoes.